by name. I'm standing here to thank God for the healing he gave to me. It's actually a long story. As a little child, I, woke, I had a nightmare when I was being attacked by a dark bee. And then I woke up from that dream and forgot about the dream. And then I went to school. Coming back from school, my mom sent me an errand to get something. So I passed through a footpath. On my way going, I started grasping for her. I was panting for her. I came back and I was like, what happened? I was like, I don't know. On my way going, that same day, I was grasping for her. We thought it was a little thing. As the days goes by, I could not breathe. We went to the hospital. They said it was asthma. They treated it for asthma for two good years. All to no avail. One fateful day, I lost consciousness in school. And for 21 days, I was unconscious. I, did, I, I was not opening my eyes. I was not talking. I was not opening my eyes. But I was talking, but my eyes were closed. My mom fasted for that 21 days. In fact, it got to a point that she said she was going to carry me to the church and leave me in the church. That if I die, she will tell men that she brought her child unto Jesus. And Jesus let that child die. And it was that very day, much prayers were made. I was taken back to the hospital. They discovered that it was not asthma. That there was actually a growth from my backbone compressing my airway space and there was an emergency tracheostomy that very night to rescue my life we thought the battle was ended they did series of surgery they removed the growth that they said they saw but i still could not breathe the journey continued like that i had four, four, series, four series of surgeries all to no avail I could not breathe. I continued with the tracheostomy too. I finished secondary school with this tracheostomy too. Still yet, I could not breathe. My nose was not functioning. I cannot perceive smell. I cannot breathe with my nose. I only breathe with the tracheostomy too. One faithful Thursday in the year 2010, that very day, God opened a new book for me. That very day, I began to breathe little with my nose. I could perceive with my nose. We went back to the hospital. They removed the tracheostomy tube. Yet, the hole refused to close. Brethren, the journey started again from there. We went to different hospitals. We went to Indian hospital. We went to Joss. We went to a series of hospitals looking for a solution. Yet, no solution. I went with it to the university like that because people were scared. How will I go to the university like this when I'm not breathing enough? The doctor said that the oxygen I'm taking in is very little to digest the food I'm eating. And yet, how will I go to the university with this condition? Brethren, I went to the university with this condition. I graduated one of the best students in my department with this condition. Brethren, I went to the youth service with this very condition and I finished with this service with this very condition it got to a point I lost faith that God will heal me I decided to assume this situation as permanent that very day that is sent for me he said I want you to tell me to come to church I came to church and that is said that God said he should tell me that this affliction is not permanent I should never accept it as permanent I said yes sir he said, did you hear what I said? This affliction is not permanent. Then why you accept this as permanent? I said, yes, sir. I went again. National Hospital lost my folder. They could not trace any of my medical reports. Brethren, after how many years, they couldn't trace my medical reports. They gave me a medical report to go to Bogolada Teaching Hospital. I went to Bogolada Teaching Hospital. They said they have not seen this kind of case. The doctors are surprised. They are confused. What kind of case is this? Every surgery to be done has been done. Yet, this girl is not normal. Brethren, the CT scan showed that I was having a growth at the upper region and a growth at my nose, blocking my nose and blocking my airway space. So, I was breathing from a hole in my neck. Brethren, they said they were going to take me to surgery. 
and go and look at my neck so that they can know what to do because they don't know what to do. Brethren, the surgery was slated in the year 2020. It was cancelled because of pandemic. It was slated again. It was cancelled. We came to 2021. It was slated. It was cancelled. Several it was slated and cancelled. But brethren, one thing that God did for me, I was wheeled into the theater in February 28. Brethren, I got into the theater. They cancelled the surgery again. I came here for the second night of metamorphosis in the month of March. After that, he prayed for the choristers. He said, let me go to pray for are those who are sick, who want to do surgery. I ran out here. I was the first person that came out staggering day. Praise the Lord! A very faithful Tuesday after that night was a metamorphosis. The next Tuesday, I felt like someone was carrying load on my neck that very morning. The load was so heavy, I couldn't turn my neck, and that was a burning sensation as if someone put fire on this neck. It was burning me for hours. I told her there is a fire burning at the back of my neck. Brethren, after that fire incident, the following week I was taken to the theater. This so the doctors who are supposed to do the surgery said, let's test this guy respiratory again. Let's see how fast she can breathe. Brethren, they tested my respiration. I was breathing 99%. This was somebody that cannot breathe before. I was breathing 99%. The doctor was like, this is unbelievable. What has happened? They could not believe what happened. Praise the Lord! up to the amount I was breathing. They were like, this is impossible. Them are breathing 94. I am breathing 99%. They said, we can no longer do the surgery. The surgery is cancelled. Brethren, they closed the hole. They closed the hole. They closed the hole that has been opened. They closed the hole that has been opened. But they were scared. They put me in the ICU. When I recovered from consciousness, I told them, where is my mom? They were all shocked. She's talking. She's talking. Unbelievable. She's talking. Brethren, I was discharged the following day after the surgery was done. Until today, the doctors are confused. They don't even know what to write. What happened? They cannot explain. And that was how God delivered me from an affliction of 21 good days. to me you are older than time you feast on fire I go by the way or shall you love our no you are bigger than size beyond description I go by the way or shall you love our no Stop! 
Metamorphosis. 